The Minnesota Orchestra has a new conductor at the helm. Danish conductor Thomas Sondergaard is the new music director, a role held for the last two decades by Osmo Vanska. First at four, we're thrilled to welcome uh, Thomas to the WCCO studio. Welcome, not just a new role for you, but a new city as well, the Twin Cities. Isn't it? Yeah, lovely to be here. Really fantastic. How long have you been here officially? Like, when did you move? Um, well, I've not moved here. Uh, I'm with the orchestra this week, but I got to know them a year ago okay. in December. Great. So we understand this isn't your first time being the lead conductor. You've been conductor, what, where else, with radio stations across Europe, right? That's right, in BBC, uh, in Great Britain, in Wales. And also I'm still with the Royal Scottish National, based in Glasgow. Cool. Wonderful. What does it uh, take to become a conductor? I mean, tell us about your path to get to where you are today. Bury Creek. I grew up in a wonderful little city, loads of culture. I moved to Copenhagen, got into the academy, got very inspired and interested in symphonic music, traveled with the European Community Youth Orchestra, got to know some of the best conductors in the world, asked a little bit into the job. Little by little, I was asked by friends and colleagues to conduct. And in 2005, I had my debut at the Royal Danish Opera. Wonderful. What is that transition like? I understand you were a percussionist where you decide, I'm now going to be leading the orchestra. <laughs> that responsibility, what is that like? It is different. <laughs> and also the first time I jumped into it was with my friends, my colleagues at the opera. Suddenly to be the leader there in a, in a situation like that was very special. But it's, it's amazing uh, to actually get to know the music a little better, which is the job of a conductor. Mm -hmm. Actually really to study the scores heavily. Okay, so score us, score the Minnesota Orchestra. I mean, what drew you to wanting to work here? Uh, simply because it's one of the best orchestras of all 70, 80 orchestras that I work with. When really? I came here, yeah. You have one of the best orchestras that I have uh, bumped into. Wow. If I can put it Just right way. next door Look to us. us. Wow, right Look at across us. the street. So I hope you're very, very proud of this orchestra. They are so skilled, so energetic, those so keen uh, on reaching out. They are the wo most wonderful band in terms of surprising newcomers uh, and also making sure that the peaky ones, those that knows a lot of the repertoire, mm -hmm. get surprised as well. What is your vision for the future of the Minnesota Orchestra now that you're going to be at the helm? Well. I don't have a personal vision. It's us. We do this together. I like that. Yeah, it, it really is like that. We will keep drawing in uh, audiences and we would love to surprise people that thought classical music was, unfortunately, some get told when they're small that it's boring music. Mm. I can tell you it's not. <laughs> and the world needs <clears throat> this art form desperately. People to actually relax and to get inspired with the classical music. So our mission and our future, future uh, wishes is that we can draw in more people to get surprised uh, with what we do so well. I love that. Okay, before we have to go here, tell us when we can see you perform. Next. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, <laughs> easy, <laughs> so easy. All right, well, hey, that works. Friday and Saturday. Okay. Wonderful. Cool. Thomas Sondergaard conducts the Rite of Spring. This is tomorrow through Saturday. It will be his only uh, appearance with the orchestra this season. A few tickets are still available, sounds like. Um, so we have a link to purchase the streamed performance. Full details are on our website. Well, thank you so much, and we're glad that you're here in the Twin Cities. Wonderful to be here. Thank, thank you so you. much for inviting me.